now that we've practiced looking at the pattern between exponential and logarithmic forms, we're going to look at the definition of what logarithms are. Now, there is a number p such that the log base b of n equals p if and only if b to the p power equals n. Now, this phrase, which you need to understand about this definition, this definition is what we covered when we converted between exponential and logarithmic forms. That the log base b of n equals p is equivalent to b to the p power equals n. So now some restrictions of logarithms is that your b has to be greater than zero. This is important. It is going to come into play later on in our lessons. What this means is your base has to be greater than zero. Your base has to be positive, and that is a key concept. However, b does not equal 1. Now think about this. Your base cannot equal 1. And let's look at this exponential form to explain this concept. If b is 1, then 1 to any power is 1. There's really no point of this. 1 to any power is 1. And so though b has to be greater than 0, b cannot be equal to 1. And your n has to be greater than 0. Your value has to be greater than 0. Your value has to be positive as well. And the reason why this one is important as well is because of the base. If your base is positive, if you're taking a positive number to a power, it can never be negative. And so this is the definition of logarithms. The ones that are important is this idea that your base has to be positive and that your n has to be positive. Those are key concepts. They, talk, they create limitations and boundaries for us. So let's try it out here. Let's evaluate the following logarithmic expressions. What you want to do when evaluating the logarithmic expressions is kind of create your own equation for this. You want to set it equal to x. And we're going to try and find the value, so we're going to solve for x. And what we're going to do is we are going to convert from exponential, sorry, from logarithmic to exponential form. So you have 5 to the x power, your base 2 here is equal to 5 cubed. Well, you have the same base. When you have the same base, you can set your exponents equal to each other for this. So x equals 3. So the value of this logarithm is 3. Log base 2 of 1 over 64, set it equal to x, because you want to find what this value is. Convert to exponential form. Your base is 2. Your power is x. 2 to the x power is 1 over 64. Well, we need to remember that 64 is equivalent to 2 to the 6th power. So 1 over 64 is really 1 over 2 to the 6th, which means 2 to the negative 6th. You have the same base. Cross them out. Set the exponents equal. x equals negative 6. So we're practicing this converting from logarithmic to exponential form still to assist us with evaluating our expressions involving logarithms. So let's try this last one. Log base 36 equals 6. If I want to evaluate this, I want to know what is it equal to. So we're going to set it equal to x, and we're going to find x. To do that, convert to exponential form. My base is 36. Your power is x. And so 36 to the x's power equals 6. Well, let's find the same base. 36 is 6 squared. So 6 squared to the x power is 6. And our power rule says distribute 2 times x. And really, it's 6 to the first. You have the same base. So just set the exponents equal. 2x equals 1. x equals 1 half. And so to evaluate logarithmic expressions, I've shown you the process. Let's just kind of write down what we did. 
the first thing that we did was we determined we set it equal to x. So when evaluating, set equal to x. And then we converted to exponential form. And finally, when we convert to exponential form, we created like bases when necessary. And then solved the equation with the exponents. So solved for the exponents. That was the process we did in this whole video. So be familiar with the setup before you move on to the next concept.